do, it's like a dry masala Kerala and fish curry. To go with that, I'm doing a really nice tomato and coconut, nice sticky chutney. The king of filleting is going to take the king of fish, the king of fish, pass it over to Simon King to make the king of curries in Kerala. It's a lot of case that. Oh, lovely. Do you want to see how we skin fish? It's dead easy. Quick, skin side down, get a really sharp knife, tink it under the tail, grab it like it's going to escape, and just start there. Just run your knife down. Voila! Now that is a perfect fillet of fish. For Dave's wonderfully filleted fish, we're going to do this marinade. It's brilliant. We're going to put some natural yogurt in there, one, and then some garam masala. Do you like me art? It's good, isn't it? I got it from uh, Spain. <laughs> now these little black balls of loveliness are mustard seeds. Now when you fry them, they pop and release all their flavours. Excellent. This is ground coriander. And this one is ground cumin. And some chilli powder. A pinch of salt. Cardamoms, look how green they are. You need to bruise them. Not like GBH, just bruised, okay? Just to release the seeds. Releases all those fantastic flavours. Brilliant. We just want to push all of those spices through the yoghurt. You know, sometimes I think with the marinade that, that you really can leave it too long. I think something like fish, like an hour's tops, after that, especially good fish like this, you're going to kill the flavour of the fish. Put it in to your marinade, coat it. Not too thick. Look, the marinade's just sitting on the fish. Cover it, leave it for an hour, fry it off. I'm sure you'll do that in a bit. Whilst King is fish is marinating, I'm going to be making a tomato and coconut chutney. There's coconuts everywhere in Kerala. You know, there's as many coconuts as there are fish, and that's saying something. The cuisine kind of is built around fish and coconuts, as I see it. A cup of onions. And six cloves of garlic. It's aromatic chutney. Don't be shy with your spices. Some fresh ginger, chopped. A green chilli. Be careful at home when you're chopping chilies. A stray seed, a curless finger can bring grief. Especially if you go to the toilet, you like that. Yeah, that's not good. No. My favourite, curry leaves. There's about a dozen here. Again, don't be shy. Some desiccated coconut. Because it's kind of dried and it's sticky and sweet. We'll just let that toast for a couple of minutes. And it begins to look like a macaroon. Don't be shy with your desiccated coconuts. Now time for the tomatoes. Tin tomatoes. Skinned, fresh tomatoes. And to give it some richness, some tomato paste. Now at the moment, we're making a coconut tomato sauce. We need some chutneyfication. I want some sugar. A couple of spoonfuls. And now some balsamic vinegar. This is kind of to give the sourness. Oh, that's a really nice balance. Bubbling away nicely. Leave that for about 20 minutes to become a thick, gooey kind of chutney, really. So I'm going to have a cup of tea now. Oh, I'm desperate. Sprinkles. I'll cut the sprinkles. 
Presidents, Dave's got a thing about sprinkle and everything. I'm sure that his past life he was Dutch. Parsley sprinkles, lime sprinkles, any sprinkle he would possibly sprinkle, Dave sprinkles. It's for that touch of burning and shake. Okay, look, it's all crunched on the outside. Now that's that's partially the yogurt and the spices. Lovely coating of loveliness. Yeah. Disposable plates, text for Mickey, you know. But a little bit of art and design goes a long way. Whoa, look what I've got. God's own crockery. Oh, perfect. A nice big dollop of chutney in the middle of each. Look at that. 